The comic book medium has always killed characters for the sake of drama, only to bring them back after a period of time. There are, however, rare cases when comic book characters actually stay dead. One reason is that the hero or villain themselves was not popular to begin with. Another is that these characters' deaths were so impactful that bringing them back to life would cheapen their demise. Now, the ones we're mentioning here have stayed dead and have not properly returned to their respective comics. And warning, there will be spoilers ahead. With that in mind, I'm Adam from What Culture, and here are 10 comic book characters who actually stayed dead. Number 10. Thunderstrike The powers of Thor have been passed down to several characters throughout the years, and one notable individual to receive this honour is Eric Masterson. Though he'd start off as the God of Thunder's alter ego, Eric would eventually gain his own mantle and weapon as Thunderstrike. In his own comic book series, Masterson would confront numerous foes, but none of them would be as dangerous as Bloodaxe. This villain was Jack. Jackie Lucas, who received powers upon using the axe used by Scourge the Executioner. But while our hero would eventually separate the woman from the axe, he consequently managed to gain the power of both Thunderstrike and Bloodaxe, which became a problem. Thunderstrike would confront the weapon in his own subconscious as Bloodaxe would take the guise of its owner, Scourge. Though Eric would eventually defeat the axe, the aftermath results not only in the destruction of the weapon, but Thunderstrike and Eric himself. Despite staying dead since the 90s, Eric Masterson's legacy lives on through his son, Kevin, who has taken on the mantle of Thunderstrike and continues to embody the everyman superhero. Number 9. Happy Hogan Harold Happy Hogan served as Tony Stark's bodyguard throughout the years, and is a notable element in the Iron Man comics. But despite Jon Favreau's MCU portrayal increasing the character's popularity, Hogan has actually been dead for quite some time now in the 616 universe. In Iron Man Volume 4 Number 13, Hogan has a confrontation with the villain Spymaster, who plans on using the bodyguard as bait for Tony Stark. In the fight, Happy manages to drag the villain several stories below and is critically injured. While at the hospital, Pepper Potts tells Tony about Happy's former boxing friend who received brain damage, and says that being in a vegetative state was something that Hogan did not want to happen to himself. At the end of issue 14, the lovable bodyguard dies, but it is left ambiguous whether he passed away naturally or through euthanasia from an extremist-powered Tony Stark who had cybernetic powers. Happy's demise has not been reversed as of now, which is probably for the best. While mainstream superhero comics often deal with grandiose deaths, this remains one of the more grounded ones, which made it more relatable. Number 8. Sarah Essen the Joker has done numerous heinous acts throughout the years, such as paralyzing Barbara Gordon in the controversial scene from The Killing Joke. But while that remains his most remembered transgression, his sins against the Gordon family would not end here. Sarah Essen was a character introduced in Frank Miller's Batman Year One, who has an affair with Jim Gordon. Though she leaves during the story, she later returns after Year One and the two resume their romance which eventually leads to marriage. But in the storyline No Man's Land, the Joker kidnaps babies from a refuge spot in order to lure Batman. His plan is foiled, however, by Essen, who attempts to rescue the newborns. But in a split-second decision, she saves one of the infants at the cost of dropping her gun, which prevents her from shooting the villain. The Joker takes this opportunity to shoot a vulnerable Essen in the head, while leaving her corpse for the infants to crawl on. Jim Gordon would retaliate by apprehending the Joker and shooting him in the leg. Sarah Essen, on the other hand, remains dead, as the character has not been mentioned in current continuities. Number 7. Alexandra DeWitt Alexandra DeWitt was the ill-fated love interest of Kyle Rayner, aka Green Lantern. Introduced in 1994, she was a photographer who helps Rayner train with his powers. Despite this, the character is more known for her death and for the trope that it established. DeWitt was killed by Major Force, who strangled her and stuffed her in a refrigerator for Rayner to find. With the cruel method of how she was dispatched, writer Gail Simone coined the term women in refrigerators in 1999. This trope criticised the killing of love interests, particularly women in comic books, and how their deaths are often used to motivate male heroes. Alexandra would be temporarily brought back as an undead Black Lantern, who appears in a refrigerator construct to torment Kyle. She'd also make an alternative universe return where she serves as a Green Lantern in the storyline Green Lantern Circle of Love. Yet despite these brief returns, Alexandra DeWitt has not properly returned to DC's mainline continuity. Her death, however, sparked a turning point where comic books had to change for the better. Number 6. Dove 
The superhero duo Hawk and Dove consisted of brothers Hank and Donald Hall, who were debuted in Showcase No. 75 in 1968. Their opposing personalities complemented one another, with the former being known for violence and aggression, while the latter was known for reason and pacifism. This team dynamic would forever change during the crossover event, Crisis on Infinite Earths. In this universe-changing storyline, the duo joined to fight against the Anti-Monitor. In an effort to save a child, Dove is tragically killed by one of the Anti-Monitor's shadow demons and is vaporized. A statue is then erected in Donald Hall's honour in front of the Titan's Tower. Since then, the character has been replaced in the comic by Dawn Granger. She would inherit the mantle from Dawn and would remain as Dove for a long period of time. Even in the continuity reboot New 52, Dawn would remain the main version of Dove, while Hank Hall would keep the Hawk moniker. Though the character has not been brought back to life, Don Hall has been adapted in numerous animated shows, from Justice League Unlimited to Batman, The Brave and The Bold. Number 5. Karen Page Karen Page was a key character during the original Daredevil run in the 1960s. Serving as the love interest for both Matt Murdock and Foggy Nelson, she would later depart the series by the 1970s, until she made her big return in Frank Miller and David Matsukeli's Born Again. That storyline involved Page becoming addicted to heroin and starting a pornographic career. In need of a fix, she gave away Matt Murdock's secret identity, which leads to the events of the story. But despite this, she eventually gets her life back together and even reconciles with Murdoch as the two rekindle their relationship. Still, Karen would eventually meet her tragic end in 1999 in the Guardian Devil storyline during a fight between Daredevil and Bullseye. She intercepts the Billy Club meant to impale the former at the cost of her being stabbed in the heart. Her death would impact Matt profoundly and he would even contemplate suicide. Since then, Karen Page has not returned to comics and has stayed dead. Though it is an unfortunate example of women in refrigerators, her death makes her appearance in Daredevil Yellow even more impactful. Number 4. Goliath Dr. Bill Foster is a comic book character who shares similar powers to Hank Pym, aka Ant-Man. Throughout the years, Bill has gone through numerous monikers, from Giant Man, Black Goliath, to just Goliath. Sadly, Foster's life will be cut short during the Civil War storyline. In the crossover, Foster joins Captain America's anti-registration team against Tony Stark's own Avengers. During one of their battles, Goliath fights with his teammates but is intercepted by a clone of Thor that's later named Ragnarok. Created by Tony with the help of Pym and Reed Richards, the clone does not share Thor's heroism and, because of this, strikes down Foster with lightning and kills him. Unable to revert to normal size, Bill Foster is buried as a giant and his death would cause ripples across the two forces, with heroes such as Spider-Man switching sides because of this. Goliath has yet to return to Marvel and his death presented some unfortunate implications. The fact that the only casualty in Civil War was an African-American man and he was buried in chains proved to be uncomfortable for readers. Number 3. Alfred Pennyworth Alfred Pennyworth has always been a key staple in the Batman mythos, appearing in numerous comic books, movies, video games and even his own TV show. Throughout the years, he's been by Bruce Wayne's side, but all of this would change during the events of The City of Bane storyline. In an effort to stop Bruce from continuing as Batman, an alternative version of Thomas Wayne ordered Bane to kill Alfred in order to break the Dark Knight. The hulking villain obliges by breaking the butler's neck, killing him. However, Pennyworth's demise would not break the iconic hero, but instead push him further into stopping both Bane and Thomas Wayne. Alfred's death, as of now, has not been reversed and has impacted the Bat family emotionally. Former Robin, Jason Todd, threw Bane off a building to avenge the butler's death. On the other hand, Alfred also amassed a huge fortune during his employment and gives all of his money to Dick Grayson, aka Nightwing. Though it is inevitable that the character will be resurrected along the line, Alfred's death has opened up new stories within the Batman universe. Number 2. Uncle Ben Ben Parker served as Peter Parker's father figure during his formative years. When he was alive, Ben taught his nephew what it meant to be a good person. But in death, his demise would be the valuable lesson that turned Peter the boy into Peter the hero. In his origin story, Parker lets a robber go after getting tired of being pushed around by everyone. But his actions come back to bite him hard as he discovers Uncle Ben murdered. After confronting the killer, Peter is shocked to find out that the man is none other than the person he let go earlier. Realizing he could have prevented the murder had it not been for his arrogance, Ben Parker's death haunts the webhead for years and teaches him a valuable lesson. 
Hence the iconic line, with great power comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben, like most parental figures who have died in comics, is one of the few characters that have not been resurrected. But out of all of these archetypes, Ben's death hits the hardest and is the pivotal point where Peter Parker becomes Spider-Man. Number 1. Marvel Captain Marvel was a man named Marvel, sent by the Kree Empire to infiltrate Earth. He later used his powers for good to protect the human race. Later in his career, Marvel faced off against a supervillain called Nitro, who uses the Compound 13 nerve gas. This eventually gives our hero cancer, while his nega bands prevent him from getting treatment that can stop the illness. Realising his time has finally run out, Captain Marvel succumbs to his cancer, surrounded by friends and even respected enemies such as the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. The storyline, aptly called the death of Captain Marvel, was well received with numerous critics calling it a poignant and touching end for the character. While most superhero deaths are often violent, Marvel's was close to reality, which made his passing something that was human and relatable for readers. In fact, because of how powerful his send-off was, the character has not been brought back ever since. And though Carol Danvers would eclipse him as the mainstream Captain Marvel, Marvel's death remains one of the most profound moments in Marvel history. And as always, please do let us know your thoughts on our list in the comments down below. And also let us know which dead comic book character you would love to see brought back to life. If you do want to follow me on socials, I am at Strawn87 on Twitter and on Instagram. Thank you for watching everybody, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time, take care. Next time.